Do you want an airdrop of some BRC20 tokens, some pizza, some maxi, some long or some shint? Well, if you do, then this is the video for you, but it's time sensitive. Alex Labs are doing an airdrop to celebrate the launch of their BRC20 exchange. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through step by step the actions you need to take to be able to claim this airdrop. Now, like I said, it is time sensitive. You need to be taking action within the next 48 hours in order to claim this airdrop. Alex Labs are a DeFi protocol that's built on top of Stacks and they're enabling a BRC20 exchange so that people can trade their BRC20 tokens and they're enabling the trade against USDT. So I have their website open here and I'm just going to go through some a little few of the details here on this before I show you all of the steps in action. So first of all, Alex set up a bridge from the Binance Smart Chain to Stacks, and this opened up yesterday. So you can transfer over your USDT and you'll get SUSDT instead. So it's the amount of SUSDT that you have deposited in the trading account will decide how much of the airdrop it is that you're actually going to get. So you need to transfer over USDT from the bridge, from the Binance Smart Chain using the bridge. And I'm going to show you that, so don't worry too much. USDT will be the base currency to trade against all B or C20 tokens. SUSDC deposits will be open on the 15th of May, so it only opened today. To acquire SUSDT, you can either use the Alex Bridge, which I'm going to show you, or use the Alex Swap Pool. Now, this is key. A snapshot will be taken 48 hours later. That's 48 hours from this time. Recording your USDT in, deposited in the order book. And that's what's going to determine how much of the tokens that you get. So if we scroll down here, the airdrop itself consists of a pool of the first four listed tokens, Pizza, Maxi, Long and Shint. And these are going to be distributed to users in proportion to the balance on the BRC, which is the exchange, at the time of the snapshot. Trading is set to begin on May the 17th at 3 a.m. EST. Then it goes on about these BRC20 and BTC peg ins and peg outs. But what I'm going to show you is how you can claim the airdrop. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a wallet that's compatible on Stacks. And the wallet that I recommend is the Hyro wallet. Now the Hyro wallet is a Stacks wallet, but it also allows you to hold Bitcoin and you can hold ordinals and stamps. Um, as well as Stacks tokens in here as well and anything that's built on top of Stacks. So the first thing you do is you go and download the Hyro wallet and load it up with a little bit of Stacks. You need to maybe load it up with one or two Stacks. You may find though to transfer Stacks to your wallet, there's a minimum amount you need to transfer from the exchange. It may be five Stacks or something. But look, Stacks is less than a dollar, so it's not going to cost you much at all. So go and buy some Stacks on the likes of Binance. Once you buy some Stacks, then load it up to your Hyro wallet because you're going to need it for fees on the Stacks blockchain. So that is the first step. The second step is to navigate to Alex Labs. So I'm going to drop links below the videos to all of this. You'll find a link to the wallet and you're also going to find a link to Alex Labs. Now, Alex Labs offers a whole host of other stuff, but today we're focusing on the BRC20 and the airdrop. And if you'd like to see the video that I'm going to produce talking about Alex in more general and the future of Alex and where I think it's going to be in the next bull run, then do smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video in the future. The next step to when you go to the Alex app, you need to go to the bridge. And the bridge is going to allow you to bridge from the BSC mainnet, so the Binance Smart Chain mainnet, over to Stacks. So you'll have your wallet, you've already downloaded your wallet, you've loaded it up with a little bit of Stacks. You need to connect your wallet then to the Alex app and you will then be able to make your swap over. So you need to have some USDT. 
If you're holding stable coins at the moment, this is a great option for just earning a bit of yield on them because you can get an airdrop. So you put in the amount that you want to put in. It tells you down here then the fee that you're going to pay. So the wrap is subject to a 0.5% fee and there's no minimum fee for wrapping USDT to SUSDT. If I put in 100 USDT, it shows you that you're going to get 99.5 SUSD. It also tells you then that how long it's going to take. Now, the time that I was told earlier on was 45 minutes and it came through in about 30 minutes. So it really depends on whereabouts within the block time on Bitcoin it is that you've actually sent the funds. At the moment, I have no USDT in here, but you will probably need if you, you may need to first authorize your USDT in on the Binance Smart Chain and then you wrap it. Now you will have a fee on the Binance Smart Chain to pay for this. Now there's been discussions in the Discord of whether the fee is paid then when you're receiving, if you need stacks in your wallet to receive it. And the feedback on the Discord is that Alex are actually paying this fee on the stack side. But for the next few transactions, you are going to need to have some stacks in your wallet so you can approve other transactions. Now, the bridge route that we have, we go from the Binance Smart Chain mainnet, it goes across the bridge and it goes to stacks. And you can see the order history and the transactions that I done earlier on, including the fees that were paid and the timestamps and that to go along with it. So once your USDT has been sent over, the next thing you need to do, so the, so the airdrop is not going to be based on what you have in your wallet. The airdrop is actually going to be based on the amount you've deposited to your trading account. So we see over here, I have gone into BRC20 beta and it lets us know that this is coming soon. So what you need to do is press deposit. It then asks you how much you want to deposit and you would select then to deposit your funds. Once you select to deposit your funds, you'll get a stax transaction to approve. Now, at the moment, there is a little bit of a problem with this. And I know that the Alex team are working super hard. I've been in their Discord. I've actually highlighted this problem to them myself because it's also happened to me. Once your tokens have been deposited in here, you can withdraw them at any stage. And down here on the right hand side, it has trading account. And my balance is not showing up there at the moment, although I did add a deposit. So don't worry if that is happening to you too, because the team are working on it and have promised to resolve it. It's from down here if you wanted to withdraw as well that you can actually withdraw your funds from here as well. So remember the steps. First of all, you need to have a wallet that's compatible with stacks. I'm using the Hyro wallet. Load it up with a few stacks so that you have the transaction fees, the transaction fees to actually make this deposit, trade if you want to trade and withdraw if you want to withdraw. Once you've loaded up your wallet and set up your, once you set up your Stacks wallet and loaded it up, head over to Alex Labs and go to the bridge. You need to bridge USDT from Binance Smart Chain mainnet over to Stacks. This does take a little bit of time because Stacks works on the same block speed as Bitcoin at the moment. So it does take a little bit of time. Once you've received your SUSDT, head over to the BRC20 tab and then deposit that into your trading account. And it's that simple. So don't forget, you've got less than 48 hours to act. And from that, you can get an airdrop of some of these ever popular, ever growing popular BRC20 tokens. Now, like I said, Alex has an awful lot more to offer than what I'm going through in this video today. And if you'd like to find out all about Alex, because it is DeFi on Bitcoin, do subscribe to the video now so you don't miss out on that video. And if you want to find out about another protocol, another DeFi protocol on Bitcoin, check out this video on the screen now that I made about Arcadigo Finance.